I'm Tim Cook with Cook Saw Manufacturing. Today we're going to discuss how to shape the grind rock. And as you can well see, I'm not an artist, but I think I can draw well enough to show you what we need. We've got a new square cornered grind rock. And, and uh, the difficulty with a lot of people is how do I shape this stone so that it's true. One of the most important things for shaping the stone is, is because uh, the arbor hole up in here is not perfectly sized to a perfect thousandths. Uh, when we put this rock on and do it, it's out of round. When we lock it on and turn it on, it's out of round. So when you shape it, you become truer. And, and a true grind rock gives a smoother grind coming out. So that's why we like to see people uh, shape their own stone on their own machine. So here are the principles that we go by. We got to take this corner off and so we would like to shape this corner off about this much and just just see what that does now as we start to grind we barely kiss the face and we and we start lowering down on our our adjustments and and when we start making some sparks coming across the back side then we take note and if we're too long down on this corner it's going to be the part grinding what i'd like to do is to shape this if you notice we're at this angle so I would like to shape that at that same angle and so as I shape that as that angle I'm, I'm slowly getting this thing so if I'm hitting here but I'm not coming down into my gullet and I'd like to come lower down in the gullet then I'm going to shape a little bit more off and so I may bring it to there and I want to still keep that same angle and so what I'd like for this rock to do is it comes down into the gullet and it starts grinding here, I want to see this much of my grind rock work as it comes out. If I've got just a single corner, then a corner is doing all the work. So I'd like to keep in mind that this rock will, will, will smooth out. Now it will slowly wear into the shape that grinds the back of that tooth. So wear will take care of some of the things that you'll go through. Now whether you have you know a wide place here or a narrow place here, may be determined on the particular blade you have that you're sharpening or it may determine on how your cam is set up variable things so uh, you know doing it on your grinder is the best thing to do and so if we get this to the correct amount then it will come down sweep through the gullet sweep off the top of the tooth now remember this when you're shaping a stone a lot of people are, are concerned that the way they shape the stone makes the blade cut or not cut Here's what makes a blade cut. That tip of that tooth and the upper ten thousandths of it is what actually cuts. Everything else is a carrier. Everything else carries sawdust. If this tip does a good job, then we can carry the sawdust out. If this tip is not doing a good job, it makes us slow down and we make powder and we pack things by the blade. So this is the part that we're concerned about getting sharp. So I can grind this blade here, not hit here, and grind it coming off of here, and that tip gets sharp. When that tip is sharp, that blade will cut, whether I've ground into the gullet or whether I've not. As you grind this thing the second time, it will become more in shape with your cam and your machine. The third time, you'll be hitting everything, and I'm talking about uh, the second time or the first time you sharpen the blade reuse it the second time you sharpen it, reuse it It becomes more in tune with what you've got to get an absolute perfection where you follow the gullets every time on every blade That generally doesn't happen always But this is the way you shape that grind rock to make it do the best job that it will do on your machine and the blade that you're sharpening uh, following up the board work that we do uh, I want to show that we're going to shape this right hand corner of uh, the grind rock off and knowing that the right hand corner does its work as it comes up the back of the tooth. This left hand side, I don't ever want to shake that. I want to keep that original grip. Now as we wear the rock away, we will wear it up and it gets smaller. It keeps introducing fresh sharp grit over on this left hand side. So we don't ever want to make that dull. If we did do this, we would dull that corner and it don't cut as well. But over here we have no choice but to shape it. This shaping rock does two things while spinning on the saw. It trues this wheel up to how we've locked it on the arbor. There's a little less than imperfections in the arbor hole versus the shaft size. And so when we true it up, we get a truer grind. And so we want to, we want to radius this side up. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you. It's pretty simple. 
The other thing you'll see me do is when I get through, I'm going to tap it and I'll tap it while it's running. What that does is it knocks that dull grit from the surface, it exposes air gaps, and it does a little better grinding job. And so a lot of times when my grind rock gets a little dull as I'm grinding blades, I will just tap it and, and knock some of that dull grit from the surface. Each time we shape it, we're going to be losing a little diameter, but we're exposing that new grit. The new grit's what does the good job. I right, we're going to try to demonstrate that. Okay, and then we may start it up and uh, give it a little try. And we'll come down. You'll notice I'm not grinding on the face, and I'm going to come down until I hit a little bit on the back. Keep adjusting the face. Alright, so we're hitting a little on the face, a little on the back side. Now, if I want to go deeper in the gullet, then I'm going to take a little more off of this right hand side. Just a little bit. And then I'll turn on, and I'll have to adjust down. A little bit more down. I notice what part of the rock hits. And if I want it to go deeper, yet again, I take a little more off. And each time I take that off, I'm allowed to go a little deeper. And you'll notice it won't grind coming up the back or it shouldn't. No grinding. I lower it down. I start to grind a little. I'll lower down a little bit more. And there we go. I can get on the face a little bit, lower down. And if that does what I want it to do, then I leave it like that. If I want it to go a little deeper in the gullet, then I take a little more off of that right hand side. That does about what I want it to do, especially since sharpening blades is about getting that point of that tooth sharp rather than how well you grind the gullets out. So we're more concerned about getting the point of the tooth sharp than we are about if we get every piece of this profile down here in the gullet. The gullet is the sawdust carrier. The tooth right up in the upper 10,000th point is the point that does the cutting. Just keep that in your mind as you, as you shape your rock and as you're grinding your blades.